Hey, Andy from DIY Band. Yesterday I got a comment on one of my other videos asking how do I use bus and send and like why, what would, that, how do, what, uh. So I thought actually I haven't covered that topic. Not in depth anyway, I have used it in some of my other videos but rather than trawling through all of them uh, we're going to make a dedicated video uh, bespoke, I guess, for, for this one user, but you, you find it helpful as well. That goes to say, if you do want some actual uh, uh, personalised advice, ask me a question and I will see what I can do to either help you in the comments or, like this, make a video specific to that problem. So let's get stuck into it and this is how I use Busts and Sense. Okay, so welcome back. Let's have a look. Let's open up our own application, and I'm just looking at this um, this project thingy here. Uh, let me just check this though. This will, so you can hear what's going on. So let's do um, let's set up a track then. And we're gonna input MIDI keyboard. And let's just have these. Check that's working. Yep, lovely job. Um, so what we want to do uh, is setting up a bus to send that signal to another track where the effect will then take place on that signal. So what we'll do is we go to the plus here, go down to buses and go send one and it'll ask us if we want to create a return um, and we want to go, yeah, if you don't already have one created. There's nothing on this track. Now, if you look now, nothing sh should happen. There we go. There's no signal going through to here because our send volume is turned down. So let's just turn that up to zero. Now, signal will be coming through both of them. A little bit softer because it might be twice as loud for you. Um, okay, so that's basically how a bus and send works. Now, what will happen here if we add our effects in here? Let's add um, my VSCs are all over the place here. This is probably going to be the easiest way to tell when it's working and what's working. I'm going to turn the pitch on the return all the way down. So what you should hear now is the original signal and the return signal. And the return signal should be one octave lower. Okay, which is great. That's exactly how it works. What if we don't want that? What if we only want the return signal? Now, you might think, well, let's just turn down the volume of that. And we're getting nothing. Absolutely zilch. So, turn this back up. What we'll do is on your gain here, if you right click and then fader after sense, get them both through and the gain down. What that means is that the volume here is being turned down after it's already been sent to the return, to the bus track. Okay, so we're still getting that return. And that is, that is it. That's, I think, all you'd need to know, really. Well, what you could do is you could add, like, a little bit. Oh, I just want, and vice versa. So you'd add, like, um, people usually use buses for, like, uh, reverb and EQs and things like that in both of these ways. So they're the two ways to use a bus to either enhance what you've got or to solely have what you've got. And they are useful for things like um, you could have a load of VSTs on here and the way that uh, most doors work as, and design wave and if you have a load of VSTs on one track then it will you know, start to spike on your CPU. But if you split those VSTs between that track and a bus track, it will, it 
won't spike. Even though you're using the same amount of VSTs that you get in the same audio processing to our ears, it doesn't um, that it doesn't use up as much processing power. So let's have a look at how we'd use this in in real world. Okay, so uh, here we are in a track that's pretty much almost finished anyway, um, but we're going to go through and just do some extra processing and just show you how it is, and we're also going to do a little bit of role playing in worst case scenario mode. So here we're going to add our send. Uh, I'm going to add send three. I've already got a couple of buses running on this one. Now let's imagine we accidentally press no. It's not going to automatically create our bus for us, our return track. So we're going to need to create that ourselves. So let's hit return. It um, doesn't matter what you call it. I'm just going to call it return three for uh, the sake of ease. Um, but just because we've called it return three doesn't mean it's actually going to go anywhere. Or maybe one day we'll wake up. Wake There's actually up. nothing going there. Even we turn the volume up. Or maybe one day we'll wake up. We'll we'll absolutely nothing. What we need to do here is hit a source. So we need to tell this track, grab your audio files from... Da -da 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 -da. We'll call it return three. Because we're using send three... So, return three. Or maybe one day we'll wake up, wake up. And now that's coming through. What we're going to do again here is we're going to add, let's add, uh, see a lot of people what they like to do is they um, use it for reverbs, a little bit of EQs, a lisp, uh, like a, a deesser. So if you've got like a load of vocal tracks, you can run them all through the same, uh, one single deesser rather than putting them all uh, individually and running up like five different instances of the same VST, you can send it all to the all to the bus, and you can do the the little magical trick of put your fader effects before or after or set it after a certain point, you know. Um, so you can play around with that yourself on depending on how your how your uh, tracks are all set up so let's add a uh, for instance an eq where are they i really need to sort out the, they're so unorganized here we are now with this eq i'm going to make it proper like like an old stereo let's chuck that like that so this should or maybe one day we'll wake up wake up it's starting to come through what I want to do is I want to set my fader. So what I can do here is I can drag my send to any point in this chain. And any effects underneath it will also be sent to the return track. Okay, so if I don't want the delay to come out there, I can chuck it underneath the delay. Now anything above it will not go to here. So uh, let's chuck it... Under all the, so we'll add an own compression here. So we've got EQ, DS, uh, and a corrective EQ. Okay, so anything under that point will go to the return, and then I should be able to turn this down. And like what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll level it here. So I'll automate this. Uh, let's. Duck it down all the way. So turn it basically. Turn the level off. Then we'll turn it back up again there. So only this bit will be sent. Only this bit will be muted from this track. And what we'll do here is we'll automate a level the same portion where it's only turned up at that point. That down. Uh, where was the other bit? There. That down. So now what will happen? It should switch. Or maybe one day we'll wake up. This best be a fucked up dream. Dream. So there you have it. That's how we would add a bus and send and how to use it in a real world. I mean, you can use any. A, any kind of concoction of VSTs and that's the beauty of it you can it's the artistic part is is in your hands it's so open and easy to use really uh that 
you can do almost anything you like with it. Be creative, go make some stuff. Um, I hope that helps, especially the guy that um, asked for how to use buses and sends that is having a little trouble. But if uh, it helps you as well, please hit that like button. Um, and if you want to see more of this content when it comes out, please just ask me what what it is you're struggling with and I will do my best to help you. Um, I will put this track at the end so you can just hear what it sounds like at the end there with that little bit of automation but um, you, know, you kind of get the idea. Uh, thanks again Andy from DIY Band. See you next time. <laughs>